everyone, welcome back to my channel. I've been away for a while and I've written a blog post about it. Nothing major, nothing serious, just a bit of an explanation why I've been away and why, I've took, uh, why I took a bit of a break from vlogging uh, YouTube and social media. So um, if you want to read it, um, I'll link it below and let me know what you think. And today I have a couple of brushes, uh, oh, just one actually, a brush and two beauty blenders to test out. Atos, which is a Dutch drugstore, came out with a pack with a Artiste brush dupe um, and two beauty blenders. One is uh, just, I think, normal size and the other one is um, shaped a little bit differently and it's smaller, it's more squishy, so I guess this is for concealer. Um, so I'm gonna do my makeup with them, I'm gonna um, tell you what I think about the brushes and this is the first time I'm gonna use these brushes and yeah, let's get started with my makeup. So I'm gonna start with primer and I'm using the Emani Perfect End Primer Serum and yeah, I'm just gonna use the brush, I think. Let's try the brush, let's see how it goes. It feels really soft when you touch it, um, so yeah. You can't put a lot of pressure on it, which is good, I think. It just fits right under the eyes, so it's quite a good uh, size. Sorry if I'm looking down, but my mirror is down there, so then <laughs> you know why I'm looking down. Now, let's do my foundation. I'll do half of my face with the brush and the other half of my face with the beauty blender. I've already dampened it. It didn't expand quite a lot, uh, just uh, kept his, his, his size, which is quite odd because my Real Techniques uh, beauty sponge does expand quite significantly. So yeah, we'll see. It's quite hard. It's not very squishy. The, the blue one is a lot squishier, as you can see. This one is not. So yeah, we'll, we'll, we'll see. So I will do half of my face with the brush first. Let's see how this works. So this was one pump with the Emani uh, Hydrower Foundation and the Azels brush. Mm, I have to say... I think there is a lot of foundation sinking into the brush, so that's kind of a negative, but... And the bristles clump... I don't know if you can see it, but the... Bristles do clump together when I um, applied my foundation, so that's that's not good, I think. Let's try the other half with uh, the Beauty Blender dupe. One pump again. Spread it around my face. Ooh. Okay, okay, okay. It's really hard. It's a hard Beauty Blender. It's not very soft. I feel like I'm poking myself. Oh, and I don't know, I, I think I forgot to say, but the whole set was 4.99 in euros. So that's quite a good, um, yeah, quite good value for money. So I was really eager to try out these brushes, the brush and the two beauty blenders. I think there disappeared a lot of foundation in both of the tools. And I, from the first application, I don't know if I have a favorite. They both blended out quite well. Yeah, I don't know, I don't know. We'll have to see. Um, I'm gonna do my concealer with the last tool that I want to test out. This is the really small um, beauty blender and it really does fit right under the eyes. And it has a bit of an odd shape, 
Um, so we'll see. We'll see how this goes. It really fits right under the eye, so that's really nice. And I feel like it's blending the product as well as um, spreading it, so it's not disappearing into the tool. So that's good. Um, it's quite, it's a lot better than the other one, the, um, the pink one, because I don't feel like I'm poking myself. Um, this one has a little bit more give and um, yeah. Sorry if the light's going down, but I'm, I'm, I'm working with natural light today, so yeah, we'll have to work with it. I did a really good job blending my concealer. Yeah, I really like it. So I'm going to finish the look with um, a bit of bronzer, which is <laughs> an old favorite of mine. The Body Shop Honey Bronze and another old favorite which is a Milani Luminoso brow gel through my brows which is the brow archery No, the archery, <laughs> archery brow from Soap and Glory. Curl my lashes and a bit of Maybelline uh, Temptation, Total Temptation mascara. I'm gonna finish off the look with a little bit of the Fleur de Force uh, lip gloss in the shade Seeing Stars. So for the Atos brushes, I think um, the fa my favorite is the pink one. Pink. <laughs> I think my favorite is the blue one which is quite squishy, fits right under the eyes and I would use this mainly to blend out my concealer. Um, I'm not a big fan of either of these two brushes. Um, I think their application was fine, there's nothing wrong with them, except that I have better tools um, in my um, collection. Um, I think I would prefer the Real Techniques uh, Beauty Sponge over this one and I would use my Zuiva buffer brush over this one. They do give a good application. There's not, like I said, there's nothing wrong with them, except I have better ones uh, that I prefer. Um, but for $4.99, three of these brushes is a really good value for money, and I would definitely uh, recommend that. So, yeah. I hope you like this uh, video and um, like I said, I'm back. I'm gonna make videos every Friday and um, so I hope I see you next week, which I have something uh, exciting planned as well. Keep an eye out for my channel, subscribe if you haven't already, click on the subscription button below and don't forget to click on the bell button as well to get notifications if a new video comes online and I'll see you next week. Bye!